Today I'm going to walk you through a very simple method to generate thousands of evergreen niche ideas in the matter of just a few minutes. And for the second half of this video, I'm going to walk you through a real life example of creating designs for all of these niches at once. So in order to generate these evergreen niche ideas, we're going to use ChatGPT. This will be linked in the description down below and you can use the free version to do this. It's just going to take a little bit longer essentially. The formula we're going to use or the prompt for this is please write a list of 20 professions for each letter of the alphabet and then after this I'm going to put meaning 20 professions per letter you can obviously swap out professions for other things as well such as hobbies animals cities you know I've tried it here with different lists on the left hand side as you can see it does work for all of them that's all you have to do I'm going to copy this prompt and leave it in the description as well so you can copy it very quickly Don't have to write it out yourself and then once you're ready just hit enter or click on this arrow then ChatGPT is going to list off 20 professions for each letter of the alphabet like we asked it to now this is not going to run through the entire alphabet right away because there is a character limit or a word limit or something on ChatGPT so what you can do is once it's stopped just type continue right here and then copy the word continue because this is going to happen a few times and then hit enter again it's going to carry on you are going to get a few wonky words sometimes like here it's just put heavy it was probably trying to write a job title that started off with heavy but it was interrupted by the word limit so right we've gone to the next limit just put continue again and keep this going until you arrive obviously at the letter z and there we go in the matter of just a few minutes we've got tons and tons of uh, evergreen niche ideas right here in terms of job titles and there's various ways you can go about using these now you could type them into amazon or whichever marketplace you're selling on and check how many search results there are to sort of gauge the competition now there will be some high competition niches and, and suggestions in this such as teacher it's one that stuck out to me here but with hundreds and hundreds of different job titles you will find low competition niches in this lot which is obviously really really handy that's what we want low competition and a decent amount if not high demand i'll just show you the examples as well for these other lists so cities i just did this for any city in the world really i didn't limit it to a country and uh, the only thing i changed in the formula is i put obviously 20 cities for each letter and i, I put at the end right here don't add the country associated with the city because by default chat kept adding like usa united kingdom germany you know it kept adding that to the end but that's not what we want because what we can do now with these lists is we can move a step forward and essentially paste them into a spreadsheet to make them easier to work with if you uh, copy all of this and uh, just paste it into a spreadsheet as is then as you can see it is going to actually add the uh, sort of numbers right here which is a bit annoying i don't know a quick way to delete this in spreadsheet i'm not not an expert on the program but um, i do know that if you actually paste this into notepad then it's going to leave the numbers out and then all we have to do is just get rid of these uh, tiny bits in between where it says the letters or the headings for each letter so just delete those out and occasionally it'll show up with the prompt saying continue but once you're done with that you can then copy this entire list into excel or another spreadsheet editor and then you've just got a plain list of loads and loads of job titles and various evergreen niche ideas and now we've arrived at the second part of this video which is actually using these spreadsheets and turning them into hundreds and hundreds of designs very easily so in order to get started we need a few different things first of all you need to have adobe illustrator there will be a link in the description where you can usually sign up to a free trial with illustrator illustrator is the best tool that i have found to create scalable designs there is a couple of other options such as automate pod but i haven't found a free way to do this unfortunately so Illustrator is my tool of choice. Secondly, you will need some scripts that we will then insert into a specific folder location. The scripts will be linked down below in the description as a download link from Google Drive. And I'll show you where to actually place them in a minute here. And the third thing is you need a CSV file or a spreadsheet with loads of variables or in our case, niches. I've actually gone ahead and already prepared one for you that is perfectly set up for this process. And it's included in that Google drive download link along with the scripts. 
So these are the two scripts right here, variable importer and deal with overset text. Once you've downloaded them, all you have to do is paste them into this folder right here. So the location on your PC should be program files, Adobe, I'm Adobe Illustrator 2023. Now this could differ depending on what version you have installed. Then you have to go into presets, then ENGB, which stands for the language. So if you've got a different language selected for Adobe Illustrator, then this path or this part of the path might differ and then go into scripts. And this is where you just have to paste them in and then you're good to go. Now you can jump straight into Illustrator and start creating your designs. So in this case, I'm essentially going to target people who are retired for a specific job. And we're starting out with actor, but then we're going to go through all of the other job titles in our list. And just a few things to note right here, in terms of the document setup, the artboard is 4,500 by 5,400 pixels for me. That's what I like to choose as the output file size. If you're wondering how to get this black background so it's easier to see designs which are optimized for dark t-shirts you can head to file document setup and if you enable this simulate colored paper option right here then you can select any color from this color picker right here and it's going to apply that to the background of all of your artboards. Next up I've opened up the actions panel and the variables panel up here and if you can't find them yourself just head up to window and then tick actions up here and variables down at the bottom. Now, one of the most important parts when it comes to this setup is the actual variable word down here. In our case, actor, this has to be an area type. The way to create area type is choosing the type tool, who would have guessed, but instead of just clicking anywhere, you have to click and hold and then drag out a box. You want this box to be somewhat smaller than your actual artboard, so slightly smaller right here, leaving a bit of a margin, and then obviously get it aligned to the center of your artboard. That's quite useful as well. I would recommend choosing a bit of a condensed font right here. That's quite narrow because we have some very long words in this. Also, uh, make the word that you're starting off with quite a short one so you can keep the font size quite big. That's also going to help us make the designs look better. And the last thing you need to do is head to the layers panel and the layer for your actual area type, you need to rename that to variable one that is very important for this to work and now we can finally get going and actually import these variables and the way to do that is head to file then hover over scripts and select variable importer that is one of the scripts we put into that folder earlier now we can click on choose data file right here Make sure to select the spreadsheet that I provided to you in the download. That's called Scalable 500 Job Titles. So double click on that. Now head to Options. This is where we'll configure the actual uh, names for these uh, file types afterwards. So click on Assign right here. We'll change this from Custom Text to data set, so this is quite important. And then field two, we'll change to nothing and field three to nothing as well. And then you can test the data set names. Essentially, this is what your files will be named after we're done with this. So hit OK and OK again, and then we can click import variables, and then it's going to refresh. We can click OK on this. You don't have to preview them because now in the variables window over here, we can now jump through different job titles. So actor, architect, a lot of these will be cut off, but that will be fixed with the other script. So don't worry about that. But if you look at some of the shorter ones, we can just quickly jump to banker and it's going to replace that word right here. Here, dentist perfect right so um, that's it essentially in terms of setting up the variables now the next step is going to be setting up an action so we can export these different variables very quickly without having to do much and uh, in order to create an action we need to head to the actions panel who would have guessed um, you want to click on this plus symbol down here to create a new action give it a name that you will remember so for example export as PNG then hit record and now you want to head to file export save for web make sure that png is selected here and then click save and you can save this anywhere on your pc it doesn't matter i just saved it on the desktop now you can click stop recording now one step that's very important here is make sure to tick this little box like so so this symbol disappears that's what we want and now the last step to this action is inserting one of our scripts to deal with 
the longer words that bleed of the edge of our artboard. In order to insert that script into this action, head up to this hamburger menu, click insert menu item, and just type deal into this, and then press find. And it should autofill this with deal with overset text if you've put it into the correct folder. Then hit OK. And now down here within the action, we want to move the deal with overset text script above the save for web action because before our file gets saved this script will resize our text then to the correct size though it's not bleeding off the edge of the apple so make sure it goes deal with overset text and then save for web Right, and now we're all ready to export all of these designs in bulk. And now that you've done the setup process once, you can repeat this process with a different design very quickly next time. What you have to do now is head over to the actions panel, hamburger menu right here, and click on batch. This is going to batch export essentially. And you have to select the correct action. So the one we just created, export as PNG. Source has to be data sets, destination none. Um, right here, you have to choose the output file um, for both of these, wherever you want to save your designs to and make sure that override action save as commands make sure these two boxes are ticked right here for the file name you want to select data set name over here that's quite important and then you can click OK and now you can actually watch Illustrator do the whole work for you so as you can see right there actor architect is just resize the word to make it fit astronomer is that the next one yes so it's making these all look perfect sometimes you have extremely long words where it's going to be very very small text that's hard to read but i mean you would have that normally anyway uh, but nevertheless most of these designs usually turn out amazing if you've done the setup process correctly now one quick tip here whilst this is running um, you will sometimes struggle to get these all exported if you close illustrator or minimize it i should say and then do something else oftentimes for me it then stops actually exporting and doing the batch process so do try and keep illustrator open to let this run smoothly just another tip if it's not working properly for you just go back through the steps and there is quite a few steps to prepare this so you might have missed one little part and then it doesn't always work out perfectly but it is possible trust me I struggled a lot at first and got it wrong quite a few times but you will get there another tip here is um, now once these have all exported which would take I don't know 10-20 minutes you can also actually create listings in bulk with a spreadsheet sheet there is a few tricks and a little formula that you can use to uh, quickly generate a lot of listings for each one of these designs and I also made a video about this in the past I will leave that video link in the description because going over it in this video will take too long but that's a very handy trick to to learn as well to just save a lot of time in the future even if you don't understand spreadsheets don't worry it's not that complicated if someone shows you how to do it if you want to learn how to find some more scalable design ideas yourself then make sure to check out this video next where I walk you through my process of finding scalable niches.